what's going on everybody kwaku here back with another video today i have for you a new app a first look at a new application this is called this is win 11 i'm sure you saw by the title and basically what it does is it lets you be more of a power user on windows 11. the developer himself does not recommend you use this on windows 10 or even try using it on windows 10 at all only for windows 11 this time around um, but of course, I have no idea what would happen if you tried it on Windows 10. Um, obviously, I think he says it because the taskbar was rewritten and there are some programs that this thing uh, can tweak if you let it um, that are only available like by default as an inbox app on Windows 11. So I'm sure that's the reason why. Now let's start off by going to his page on GitHub. Now this is um, by the developer Built by Bell. Um, so this guy has been working on this for quite a bit and you can go to his Twitter just from there. Of course, I'll put all the developer and app information in the description box so you guys can choose to look at it yourself. It does quite a few things here. So it says, uh, which helps you, you know, set up and customize windows 11. So basically, uh, for all of you who do not know, who do not follow me on Twitter, which you should at next windows on Twitter. Um, I recently upgraded my computer and I reinstalled Windows. This is the first video from my new installation of Windows 11. And with it, I have to customize Windows, delete certain things that I don't want delete, that I don't want on my computer. I have to get rid of some of those inbox applications that I don't care about. A number of things that I have to tweak and this application claims to do that. Um, now this is more of a first look, but that's what it does. So let's minimize that. And this is the application right here. It comes to you like a zip file and then you open it up and then you start using it. You have to accept the permissions for it. But here it is. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's There's nothing crazy look in, in terms of design for it. If I press this button right here, it'll just refresh back to um, page one. So it says it knows my username of the computer, and then you hit next to go through, and it'll kind of go step by step by step on you tweaking your Windows installation. So if I hit customize Windows 11, then it says customize Windows 11 with Open Tweaks. And Open Tweaks is another application from another developer. And basically, it puts together ways that you can tweak your Windows 11 installation. So if I uncheck this for now, and so I can individually check things, um, one of the things obviously that you should do is you should have a restore point for your computer. And of course, I have a restore point. It says my current restore point. Um, if, I, if I do choose to create restore point, it sets the current time. Um, and it says this is the time that I had the restore point initially, and it'll create a new one. If I do that, you can go to personalization and set dark, make apps use dark theme, use make sure windows automatically goes to dark theme, align taskbar to the left, small taskbar icons and so on. In fact, I'll check that off just so I can show you guys um, fix issues just like that. And then it says taskbar size has been set to small. I'm not sure what that exactly means because as you know, right now in windows, you can't change the taskbar size. So I'm gonna uncheck that and then fix issues and see what happens. No, but I don't see any change there. So let's keep going through. Um, again, this is the first look. I'm just kind of talking to you guys about it. Let's see, it says hide taskbar multiple monitors. I only have one monitor. Hide the chat icon on the taskbar. I already did that in my initial thing. Enable the Windows 10 file explorer. I'm not even sure what that means because if I click this and this is the Windows 11 file explorer where if we go to this PC, you see my drives. If I go to enable Windows 10's file explorer, what happens? It says uh, restart is required for changes to take effect. Okay, so that's the reason uh, restart is required for changes to take effect. So if you do that, restart will be required. Show hidden files and folders in, in uh, File Explorer. Show hidden file type extensions. So basically, if you go to File Explorer, you go to this PC, you go to say your Windows installation and you wanna go to, I don't know, let's go to documents. And usually there's program data and a whole bunch of stuff here. If I choose, uh, if I choose show hidden files and folders and hit fix issues, uh, I should go in here and it should show some of those hidden things. Let me see if I hit refresh, if it'll show it. I don't see anything like that showing, um, but it, it's supposed to show those hidden files that are inside your computer, um, like the system 32 folders and things like that. But I don't see any hidden files here at all. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Oh, no, I see recovery. This is a hidden file right there in OneDrive temp. Uh, when RE agent, let's see if I hit fix issues, if it reverts it back, let's see, do those go away? I don't, I don't see any difference going on here. Uh, I'm going to try that again. Let's see. Nope. These don't go away. They still stay there. Uh, program data is a hidden file. So maybe I have to refresh Explorer in order for these to go away. Um, 
possibly. But again, this is a first look. Uh, show hidden file names and, ex and extensions. Uh, enable Microsoft Hyper-V. That is something that I'm definitely going to check off because I do use that quite a bit. Um, disable Microsoft Teams on startup. I've already done that. Uninstall broken Windows 11 updates. There's so much stuff here. Uh, you will no longer see Windows tips and things like that. Windows Hello Biometrics. Advertising ID. You can remove that stuff. Basically, they, they section out off everything into different areas. Um, let's say uh, app permissions. You can make sure apps automatically get dis app permissions get disabled for like camera and microphone and so on. Um, of course, I don't even have a camera connected to this. So there's a lot in just this customized tab alone. So let's go to apps now. All right, it says remove 60 apps with pumped. Now, one thing you noticed on the first one here is you had a check uh, right here. And it says one issue has been checked. One issue needs to be fixed. Just a recommendation. And let's see, it checks it off. Let's see, I don't see anything like that. It says one of one settings requires attention. Oh, it's probably because I checked off um, Hyper-V. Okay, so let's go in here. It says remove 60 apps with pumped apps. So basically what this will do is it'll comb through and check your apps, uh, not necessarily your system apps unless you check this off. And it'll choose, let's say, if you want to remove, say, the people app, which I will, in fact, do. And let's say I want to get rid of, I don't know, what else is here? Power Automate Desktop. I don't even know why I have that because uh, I don't use it. Clipchamp, definitely don't use that. Um, let's see what else is here. Get Help. Uh, I guess I'll keep Get Help. Getting Started is something I will get rid of. Uh, Solitaire collect Collection. And I guess, and then Maps. Let's get rid of Maps. Let's first check the start and see if Maps is installed. It is. Clipchamp. Clipchamp is in fact installed, so let's see what happens if I hit, uh, if I try to remove this stuff. So it says empty bin. These go to the recycling bin. Um, I'm not sure how to get rid of these now. Let's see, uninstall all apps. That's kind of extensive. I, I don't know if this means uninstall everything that's here. It says this remove um, all pre-installed apps for the login except Microsoft Store. No, I do not want to do that. I'm not even sure uh, how to get rid of these. Does it just mean if I empty bin, it says empty the recycling bin and delete all apps in it. Okay, so basically what you would do is you would click on whatever applications you wanna get rid of. It'll go to the recycling bin here and then you would hit empty bin and then it'll let you empty the bin and delete the apps that are in it, which are Clipchamp, Bing News and so on. So let's see what happens when I do that. It's uninstalling each one of them without a separate prompt, which is amazing. Six apps have been uh, selected for removal, and then they were removed. 55 apps are left. Okay, so now let's check Maps. Maps is still here. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, Clipchamp. Clipchamp is gone. Okay. Uh, what else did I get rid of? I got rid of People. I don't see People. Um, Power Automate Desktop. Solitaire. I don't see Solitaire. So the only thing I really see here is Maps. And if I hit open on maps, um, oh, it says maps you need, needs an update. So I guess it's not fully installed. It's partially installed. So I'm not exactly sure there. But that's essentially what it does. It did get rid of quite a few of them. Clipchamp um, and uh, Bing News and so on is gone, definitely. Next up, let's go to packages. Now, packages is another interesting one. Okay, it says maps just got updated. It's because I just reinstalled it, essentially. But uh, next we see here is uh, we have install apps we think you love. And this is just a package app, a WinGet package app with the GUI graphical user interface in it. And this lets you install various applications like the Files app that I've covered so much. Start All Back, which kind of lets you help you tweak your start menu again. Brave Browser, which I've done all of this stuff I've already kind of done myself um, manually before I even discovered this application. VLC, I'll check that off because I kind of use, I do use VLC. Um, Chrome, I don't use. So all these things I don't use. Power Toys, I did use. In fact, I'll, I'll check off Power Toys. So it says these are what they recommend that you want to install. And there's a ton here. You can get Notepad++, VLC Media Players. Some of them are labeled twice. Steam, I already have installed. And let's just see. Tweetin. Power Toys is labeled twice. So I guess if I check off Power Toys in one place, it gets it in multiple. So now the interesting thing here is uh, you can essentially uh, create package right the following packages have been created so then that way you get the file and therefore on any computer you take this package to uh you can now just highlight this and then install everything so if i highlighted this and i pasted it on my laptop you know my razor blade laptop it would install all of these things here which is pretty amazing so now let's hit run installer and see what happens here 
All right, so I wanted to just interject right now as it's going. Um, one thing that I don't like that I'm noticing right now is I don't like that I'm just seeing this green bar go across. I What I want to have is an actual true loading bar that's going through. Um, I want it to fully just be like, show me the progress. That's one thing I do, do really wanna see. And even under this installing thing here, I do really do wanna see uh, a percentage here. So I know like what percent is complete. Maybe next to each one, I can see how, how long it's gonna take to complete each one. That's something that I do wanna see. So it says it's still installing. You can continue working while we install. I'm done, I'm open. Okay, so now Power Toys and everything is installed. So there's Power Toys, uh, is Tweetin installed? Tweetin is in fact installed just like you should. Now with these applications that are installed, you know, some of them are the Microsoft Store. So does it actually show up on the Microsoft Store? Uh, no, it does not. What happens if I hit install on the Microsoft Store? Does it then register or does it need to download separately? What about uh, some other applications here that I think might be on the Microsoft Store? So uh, like files, if I say I want the files application, I know there's GitHub for it, but I'm wondering if this is also um, a Microsoft Store one. So let's see if I hit, if I uncheck everything, is there a way to uncheck everything? I'm not even sure right now, but uncheck this and uncheck WinRAR, uncheck Tweetin, and uncheck the second, uncheck the second Power Toys, get rid of the VLC and just have um, files on there. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so here it is, yep. So as I suspected, uh, it does tell you when certain things are coming from the Microsoft Store automatically. So if I hit launch, uh, the Files app now does launch. In fact, I feel like I already had the Files app earlier, but actually it did do it correctly. So that that is actually pretty amazing in my opinion. All right, next up, I know the video is getting a little long. Uh, now you can automate tasks with Power UI. It says you will find here custom tasks and script files to customize Windows 11 according to your wishes and then you can obtain more collections in the GitHub repository of the application. So there's various things here that you can do. I'm not sure why things are highlighted right now. Um, and basically it says, uh, follow this on GitHub, run the code on the fly. Um, let's see. So it says categories, privacy, edge. Oh, you can click on each one. I didn't even know. So apps, if I click apps, it'll run a PowerShell shell script uh, with everything I check off here automatically. And it'll actually tell you what the script is gonna do. So. That's pretty amazing. If I check it off, it will yep, tell me exactly what the script is going to do. So that's that's actually pretty amazing. I'm not going to do anything like that right now, um, but that's pretty amazing. You can automatically update store applications. So it says this script will run an update check for Microsoft Store app. So if I hit check on this and I hit run selected, do I want to run the, the selection? Yes, I do. And then it'll check the store to automatically update uh, things. So if I go here, let's see if the store is going to update. I'm going to put these side by side. Okay, so yes, it says that selected tasks have successfully executed. If I go to the store, as you see here, the store is now updating everything that I have here. Of course, because I just installed Windows, there's a lot of updates for me to do. So yeah, that's a pretty amazing thing that this application does, and kudos to the developer for doing that. You can even disable TPM check automatically and a bunch of stuff. So that's pretty amazing, and enable the Windows 10X um, boot animation so let's go to settings to close this out check for updates if i hit check for updates this is no new releases are found the developer has all the information you need to contact him um him or her and then all the licensing and things like that yeah this is an amazing application in my opinion it's not a review but this is an amazing application to just if you can just take your time when you first install windows freshly get this first on your computer you can just quickly get through everything that you need to do. I think there was a program out before long ago that did something similar to this, but this one is just like a new iteration of it. So that's pretty amazing in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this. And uh, I'd love to hear from the developer on uh, their thoughts on how they went into making this. My name is Kwaku. I know this was a long one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.